Hi. I wanted to tell you about a Tito Ybarra video that I saw where he's lost a lot of weight. He's getting interviewed, and he's a little bit snowier on top like yours, Julie. Um, so I thought, well, why not make a video of the uh, comment that I made to him, like a few, like on a video that he'd made previously, uh, where he's trying to lose weight. So I made the comment about a book that I'd read by uh, Naomi Moriyama called Japanese Women Don't Get Older Fat. It's an excellent book, and here's why. I took the advice in this book back in 2009. It's now 2020, and I'm 118 pounds. Yes, you too can read this book, and yes, you too can change your metabolism for good. Because I've been pretty consistent. When you look at it, the Japanese have a longer rate of longevity. Longer rate of longevity. Silly me. They have better health. Their brains function better for people their age when they get elderly. Uh, they've been known to live up to 100 years. They keep the weight off. Um, their energy level is quite good. Um, it's not illegal in Japan to be uh, overweight in the criminal sense, but it's illegal for somebody to hire you if you are overweight and practice bad living habits such as bad food, smoking, too much alcohol, which might not necessarily perf affect your performance at work, but it does affect your health and the way they insure you with the company that you might work for. So it's very important to keep fit and keep healthy. Uh, Japanese people look very good for their age. It's basically because of everything in their diet. But the most important thing is seaweed. That's right. Read up on seaweed, rice, vegetables, and everything they cook is practically fresh. Eggs so fresh that the chicken practically laid them a few minutes ago. So you can't go too far wrong. Um, it's rich in iodine, and that's the reason. And I don't think we get enough iodine in our diets, especially in the Kentucky Fried McGluten diet that a lot of North Americans eat. Like here in Canada, it's not as bad, but in the United States, it's phenomenal. In Japan, the obesity rate is around 3%. Same thing pretty much with Korea and China, following close behind. Now, if they've known the secret, whether it's nori, it's kombu, or a coastal variety that's land seaweed that's also called okahajiki, it's also known as saltwort because it grows on salty coastal lands. So that's also what they use to make, uh, if you've been to a Chinese buffet, that's what they make the seaweed salad is out of okahajiki. And you can also, also buy the, um, if you're here in Ontario, Canada, you can buy the seeds from Richter's catalog, and uh, if you live in a coastal town like uh, the Maritimes or maybe out in BC, you can grow it there too. So lucky you. So just to give you a heads up, I'm just wondering, I know I'm probably never going to hear from Tito as to what helped him lose all that weight, but I'm hoping it's because I recommended the book in a comment section in a video. So just in case he has not gone to that thing. It's the one where he's exercising in his, in his living room. Okay. So, uh, hopefully he read that comment and that's the direction that he went in, but I don't know. So who's to say anyway. Hi, Tilly. Thank you. So anyway, hello to Tito and I hope that helped you lose some weight. Bye.